All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Talks of Tarot G Murder series. Today's or this week's G Murder series will be on Miss Elisa Lamb. All right, so Miss Elisa Lamb, you guys, of course, everybody knows what happened to her, I do believe, okay? So if you don't know, Miss Elisa Lamb was, uh, I believe, a college student. She um, was last seen at a hotel, and the video footage of her on the elevator is quite chilling to this day, okay? Uh, some people have went so far as to um, go to the video uh, itself and... They noticed that the video was jumping, that, and some people were saying that the security was editing the video footage, things like that. And they ended up finding this young woman in a water tank outside on top of the hotel. And what's creepier about it is that a movie was made either before or after this happened to this young woman that was eerily similar to miss lamb situation so let's go ahead and get into the g murder series we have a very thick little pool here today okay so let's go ahead and get into it you know you guys know that these cards do not come out in any specific order we just read okay so this is what could have happened or what was one of the possibilities that could have happened to miss elisa lamb you guys please keep in mind that these readings are for entertainment purposes only okay thank you all right, so we have the first card here is the Nine of Diamonds, which is the Nine of Pentacles in traditional tarot. This is someone having money to pull some type of strings, okay? So it's suggesting here early on already in the reading that somebody was involved that had some type of money to pull strings or this girl had some money to pull strings, okay? It says here the victim was worth more dead than alive, okay? So what I get from had money to pull strings the victim was worth more dead than alive. Y'all, it's already giving me Kanika Jenkins vibes. Like, it's already giving me vibes of some shady business going down at whatever hotel she was staying at, okay? The next one. We have mental illness or mental health issue. Miss Lamb could have been had a mental illness or mental health issue. Or this could be somewhere along the lines of somebody giving her something that could have impaired her decision-making skills. Okay? The victim was worth more dead than alive, has money to pull string, mental health, mental issue. This is giving me already the vibes, y'all. Without even pulling any more cards, I'm going to tell you what I'm already feeling. And keep in mind, you guys, these are just my intuitive opinions. We just read cards, okay? What I'm saying is not based factual unless I am speaking on evidence or what actually happened to a person, okay? And this is evidence that you can go pull from public records. Other than that, all of this are my intuitive opinions, okay? All right, so what I'm getting here, you guys, basically here, is what I'm getting. Has money to pull string. The victim was worth more dead than alive mental illness or mental health issue i really feel like somebody drugged this girl somebody with some money drugged this girl and said that she was more more dead and alive it sounds like somebody needed something from her it really sounds like organ smuggling you guys and i'm gonna just be real it really sounds that way already motive to kill a motive to kill so Whoever this person was that had strings to pull money and felt like Miss Lamb was worth more dead than alive, they had a motive to do something to this girl. Either there was something that this girl had that they wanted, like a kidney, a brain, a heart, or something like that. Well, I don't know about a brain, but a heart, a kidney, a liver, something like that. That could be a motive to kill. Or this girl knew something, okay? So we haven't pulled a lot of cards to see why there was a motive here. But just by looking at the cards already, you guys, and what I said earlier, I just really feel as though... With her being, with suggesting here, her being worth more dead than alive, it just seems like they needed something for, from her or she knew something, okay? And that's just what I'm getting here. Let me turn my music down a little bit, you guys. I definitely don't want to get a copyright here, but you guys, I will link the link for this uh, music that I use in the video below. This is um, Celtic music, okay? Let me just, yeah, try to get this situated here this is dance of life okay 
the name of this song. I do not own the rights of this song. This is called Dance of Life. Relaxing fantasy music for relaxation and meditation. It's from the YouTube channel Soothing Relaxation. Y'all go check them out. They have a lot of nice stuff on there, okay? They have a lot of nice stuff to listen to, to meditate to, okay? But yeah, like they said, like I said, there's a motive to kill here. What is this? The victim fought like hell. Now, what I seen in the video footage, because you guys know I like to reference things that are actually factual to the readings, okay? What I did see in the video footage was that Miss Lamb seems as though she was scared. She seemed a little confused and she seemed like she was running or hiding from someone. So it would make sense that she did fight like hell once whoever these people were caught up to her, okay? The next card here is got taken advantage of or having an eating disorder. I feel as though this girl got taken advantage of. And when I see got taken advantage of, I immediately think that somebody probably, you know, sexually abused her before anything. I feel like somebody probably sexually, sexually abused this girl. Okay. What do we have here? Stalking or never giving up. Wow. So it is saying here and it's suggesting here that Miss Lamb was stalked. And in the video footage, you guys, you could clearly see this woman being scared of something. I don't know what she was scared of, but you could clearly see she was jumping out, hopping back in, hopping out, trying to, I guess, trigger the uh, elevator. Then she kept looking around the corner and you guys can see where someone did point out. I can't remember who that person was, but someone pointed out in the comments that the video footage did look tampered with. Okay. We have public place, woods, school, work. She could have worked at the hotel she was at, but the, in general, the public place is the hotel that she was found in. She was being stalked at this hotel, you guys. She got taken advantage of at this hotel and she was being stalked at this hotel, allegedly. It says here she was lured in. That's a new card that we don't really get to see a lot. Lured in, meaning somebody lured that girl in. They tried to catch her. Okay, they tried to get her. Oh my goodness. Strangled to death. You know, you guys know after a couple of cars, we start sliding here. But we have strangled to death. So it is highly suggesting here by the cars that are coming out for Miss Lamb that she may have been strangled to death and taken advantage of. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, wow. So you guys know I don't like saying much about this card. So I let you guys read the card out. You have that word, which is another word for racism. Okay. Then you have that word that word and that word okay you guys know i'm trying to keep my channel no strikes i'm trying to be positive and no uh issues at all with the channel okay but it's suggesting here that there was someone that maybe didn't like the national not nationality but the race she was and they didn't like that okay and they were probably in on strangling this woman taking advantage of her at this hotel okay stalking her okay Someone was desperate. And I'm going to be honest, looking at her and watching her and how she was reacting in that video, it seemed as though baby girl was very desperate in that moment. Okay? I hope her family gets the answers one day of what really actually happened to her. Because ending up in a, a big old water tank doesn't seem accidental to me. Okay? But it seems here that excuse me you guys seems here that someone was desperate okay it could have been miss lamb and it did look like she was desperate to get away from whoever was stalking her okay but whoever was stalking her could have been desperate for something too maybe they were desperate because she knew something or maybe they were desperate because they needed something from her like i said all right let's go wow poison food and drink i did say that right here where it said um let's go back to it where it said mental health issue let me show you guys that all right so you see mental health mental illness and then we have poison food drink those are both sevens seven of hearts that's giving me the strong vibe of somebody did try to somebody did try to mess with her motor skills a little bit poison food drink they probably poisoned her food or her drink to render her motor skills helpless to herself and you you guys that 
that's that has a lot to do with it because if you could see the way she what look boom oh wow heavy drugs and alcohol that came out right after poison food and drinks see what i'm saying after they got her after they caught her or probably before they caught her because she seemed a little discombobulated on this footage you guys okay but it seems as though there was some type of heavy drugs and alcohol involved here there was an opportunity to, to get this girl on some heavy drugs and alcohol because the ace of clubs is the ace of wands in traditional tarot. Okay, so we have, wow, y'all, we got chased down. So it is highly suggested here that Miss Lamb was chased down, stalked, lured in. Somebody probably seemed like they was going to help her when they noticed that she was in distress or desperate. They were probably in on it and seemed like they were going to help her and they lured her in to her demise. But obviously she was chased down. Wow, that's crazy, you guys. Whoa, we got the occult, you guys. The occult came out with heavy drugs and alcohol and chased down. It's highly suggesting here that the occult probably chased this girl down lured her in some type of way got her drugged up on alcohol and things maybe she was trying to join this sorority or maybe she was trying to join this organization and they probably took it too far wow next card you guys we have nighttime something could have happened to this woman i'm gonna just move these cards that we already read you guys because they're slipping Something could have happened to Miss Lamb at night time, okay? It's highly suggesting here that something happened to her at night time. Now, the nine, of, the nine of Spades is also the Nine of Swords in traditional tarot. This is heavy anxiety, worrying, stress. And it's highly suggesting here that that girl had heavy anxiety and worry and stress. And that when she was in that elevator, that footage we seen was probably at night time. Wow. We have, y'all, we have organ smuggling. I just spoke on that. Now, I did not see this card come out. Like I said, you guys, I shuffle the cards, then I take them all up, and I just put them in a, in a pile, and I turn the camera on. Wow. It is highly suggesting here, allegedly, Miss uh, Elisa Lamb may have had her organs smuggled. She was chased down, stalked, lured in, taken advantage of to have her organs smuggled we have unwelcome visitor here she might have had an unwelcome visitor at her door in the hotel and this is crazy because the black dahlia in her g murders reading she also had an unwelcome visitor at a hotel mm. you guys be careful when you go to hotels make sure you have people with you people you can trust at that okay we have robbery, gunpoint, knife, not kidnap, but robbery. It seems as here somebody tried to probably either rob her. Yeah, organ smuggling. An unwelcome, listen to this, an unwelcome visitor at nighttime. Robbery, gunpoint, uh, gunpoint organ smuggling. Yeah, this person was trying to rob her of, of, her, in, of her intestines, you guys, her literal insides. This is crazy. Bad breakup or leaving without a trace. I don't know if she had a bad breakup, but I know baby girl did leave without a trace. And they ended up finding her after the water supply was bad at the hotel. They didn't even find her when she came up missing. They found her after people started complaining about the water supply, you guys. Wow. Next card here. We have scam, plotting, fraud, insurance, okay? So this gives them, this is giving me the vibes of somebody was plotting on her. They scammed her in some type of way, robbed her, plotted on her. Insurance is still giving me the vibes of organ smuggling. Fraud is still giving me the vibes of organ smuggling, you guys. Wow. What do we have here? Trapped in an unknown location. She was trapped in that water tower, you guys. And they did not know. I just said that. They did not know that girl was in that water tower until people started complaining about the water supply at the hotel. Wow. I Man, Miss Lamb, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Fights, arguing, lost a competition, petty gossip. 
the victim fought like hell, fight arguing. I'm I'm pretty sure once they caught up with her, she did fight. Wow. All right, you guys. The next card we here have here is neglect, neglect or negligence. Okay, and let me tell you where I feel like this card is really, really on point here. Because if y'all knew something happened to some, not, not necessarily happened to her, but she just end up disappearing in this video footage is very weird. Hotel establishment that is negligence and neglect on your part, the hotel's part. Because then, <clears throat> excuse me, then you guys end up finding her in a water supply on the top of your building at the hotel. Wow. Inheritance. They have or had insurance on the victim. Y'all, I feel as though this is giving me the vibes of, like I said, they wanted her organ. They probably knew what type of organ, something, something matched for someone and they needed her. The victim was worth more dead than alive. Wow. Next card, we have family female oh wow y'all it's starting to get stanky now because it's starting to suggest that a family member knows what happened to miss lamb and that they may have had a some type of uh, she may have had some type of inheritance that they wanted wow you guys or this could have been a woman or a boss or a co-worker that did this to her wow a woman co-worker at the hotel oh wow Let's see what we get. Homeless. Okay, so somebody was homeless. Could have been Miss Lamb. She was staying at a hotel. Okay. Or the person that did this to her was homeless. But it, I'm really feeling like this is her energy. But what I'm saying is this is not homeless to me. This is abandonment. After they did what they did to Miss Lamb, they abandoned her. She couldn't go back home because she was deceased. She was in a, she was in, where is it? Where did it go? It's over here. Where did it go? Yeah, right here. Trapped in an unknown uh, location. Yeah. How can you go home when you're in a water tower? That's crazy. We have chaos after an event or party. Wow. So maybe she was attending something, maybe a um, convention at that hotel or something, and all hell broke loose after that. Wow. Did not read the fine print contracts. This is an offer here because it's the ace of hearts. The ace of hearts is the ace of cups in traditional tarot. This is giving me the vibes of somebody was trying to some type of romantic proposal or maybe she was with someone a guy or maybe a girl you never know whatever her preference was but she was talking to someone and i don't think this was did not read the actual contract i think she didn't judge this person the way she was supposed to okay and we have justice was coming out in reverse but i have it here justice there is no justice so for it to come out in reverse that is pretty much right because they're saying it was an accident but it's saying here that that's probably what it probably wasn't an accident that there was some type of foul play between a family member, a lover, or somebody at that hotel. The killer knew what they were doing. So now this is giving me look at there. There's that ten. The ten of hearts is the ten of cups in traditional tarot. That's a family card. So now it's giving me heavy family member vibes. Or this could still be a lover. So now this is giving me heavy vibes of a lover or a family member knows a lot of what happened to Miss Lamb molestation like i said taking advantage of somebody probably sexually abused her before they did what they did to her well we have underhanded business of course and that that's better that's back on the lines of organ smuggling inheritance they had insurance on the vic victim that's back to this underhanded bullcrap inheritance they have vic insurance on the victim with organ smuggling last card we have head or neck injury so miss lamb could have suffered from a head or neck injury they could have 
pop the hot um i'm sorry hit her in the head and that could have knocked her unconscious and then they put her in that water tower and, and eventually she died because she drowned okay wow you guys this was very informative because a lot of people did really did not know what happened to miss lamb and i'm going to tell you guys right now it is suggesting allegedly that a family member or someone that she was romantically involved with or a co-worker at that hotel is the reason why that baby's not here anymore you guys thank you all so much for your support thank you for the likes the dislikes the comments we appreciate it all you guys thank you so so much be on the lookout for this week's weekly collective reading with the soulful alchemist it may be up on tuesday okay all right you guys and if you guys have any um suggestions of uh any um cases you would like to see on the channel please feel free to suggest okay as always you guys peace and love i'm sorry peace <laughs> oh man i'm all tongue-tied today you guys mercury retrograde man love and light peace and blessings and all that good stuff in between i love you all thank you so much